Hello everyone and welcome to a Fallout 76 farming guide. Today we're going to be covering how to make vodka. Um, vodka is made at a brewing table over here and if we go over to spirits we can find fermentable vodka here. It requires three boiling water, two glowing resin, three razor grain, and wood. So we're going to go out and get uh, three items right now. That's going to be razor grain, um, glowing resin, and we're going to get wood. Now, we're going to put on a perk called woodchuck. And the reason why we're going to want woodchuck is if we go back to vodka, where are we? you'd use quite a lot of wood making these. Um, you'll use five for the base craft, and three boiling water requires six wood to make. Uh, that's, of course, without uh, super duper perking. But that means each one uh, baseline requires 11 wood. So uh, quite expensive to make. So that's why I like to include wood in uh, my rounds as I'm, as I'm making these. So uh, we're going to start over here at uh, Prickett's Fort. Now I like to get wood first. And then I'm going to go for glowing resin. And then I'll get razor grain to match the amount of glowing resin I find. I can typically get 60 glowing resin, but it's plus or minus a few. So we'll just get uh, basically a third more uh, razor grain to our, our glowing resin take. So when I go over here to Prickett's Fort, I'm just going to check the Nuka-Cola machines to see if they um, have anything for us, and then I'll head over to the wood pile. Nuka-Cola machines... Uh, can have Nuka Colas, Nuka Cherries, or Nuka Quantums inside, and these ones can have uh, six possible drinks. It's not uncommon that I'll find one to two Nuka Quantums here, uh, between one and three Nuka Cherries, and um, between two and four Nuka Colas. Uh, that's that's quite common. Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Welcome to Pickett's Fort. Where is it? Here we are. So there's a woodshed here in Pickett's Fort. So with the woodchuck perk in luck, we uh, basically doubles our, our take from wood piles. So very much gives us an increased amount. So this is one. And the second one is over here in the blacksmith's hut. Very similar style wood pile. So, what did we get so far for wood? So we've gotten 368 wood scrap, and there's uh, a few more floating around. Did I get them all? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to pop over to the more known spot for wood, which is Sylvia and Sons Logging Camp. Did I get them all? There you go, backwoodsman. Just grabbing a few things from in here. Okay, so between the two we have 716 wood. Now I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to put that away for... I'm not doing anything technical, so we're going to put on Farm a Farm and Scrounger. So 
Next is glowing resin. In this area here, there is about 10 trees with um, three glowing resin, two to three glowing resin on them. So I like to just put a marker just about here to give myself some visual distinction. So we're going to go to three places for glowing resin, and I typically find enough between the three locations. Glowing resin is a little frustrating because there's it's sort of well distributed. It's well distributed amongst the map, and there isn't really a really good perfect farming location for it. Probably put this, yeah. Okay, so just over this ridge, we should start seeing the first trees. Yeah, here we go. And there's a second one over here, or a third one. The best way for finding this is not really looking in one spot. It's almost kind of defocusing on the screen and trying to see sort of yellow spots in front of me. I find this is easier at night. Um, that's just me. I don't know. I find the strong yellow cast of the uh, daytime uh, sometimes makes it hard to pick up on glowing resin. There's a couple there, and then the next are sort of a ways over here-ish area. How much glowing resin have we gotten? We've gotten 12 so far. There we go. So that'll be 18. Okay, we'll move on to the second spot here in just a sec. A coal deposit. Okay, yeah. Let's move on. So the second spot, uh, which has a few that you can do quite quickly, is near the... Where are we? So by the ammo dump here, they're right about here. There's about eight trees with some glowing resin that are quite close together. So same thing, I have my sort of camera out wide and I'm sort of scanning the trees. Just running along here. And I'll run back in a row a little bit further in in a second here. mark but uh, there's two three four five
Okay, so I think that's it for this location. This brings us to a total of 34 glowing resin. And now we're bringing up the longest spot um, over here. I go to Garam Mining Headquarters and I just put a pin over here to keep me moving through this forest. But this forest area has, uh, I think, between 30 and 40 different spots. The problem is finding them all. Um, the area is quite topographical. And uh, again, it doesn't have really good sight lines. So uh, we're just going to go through sort of a scanning pattern through the trees, grabbing what we can. But I won't spend a huge amount of time uh, looking at every tree because it's, it's an activity that can become quite tedious. Normally there's uh, some more baddies there. Eh, oh well. Um, frequently I'll find a legendary uh, enemy at that site. So we have our first sap here. Now again, most of the sap is in this forest area. Um, there's a bit of a void here, but again, we'll just sort of scan up and around. Now you have to be careful. This is blight, not... Uh, glowing resin. So sometimes you'll see the color yellow flash. Uh, it's not what we're looking for. There's only a few trees with more than one on it. Where were we here today? Yeah, I'm just heading a little north of it. And I sort of go up and down through it. We will go up one more tier on the mountain. There's more up there. I could use my jetpack for getting up, but I'll uh, I'll run up like a peasant. So if you t go to the highest point of this hill. There's some down here. You can see a bit further down into the trees as well from up here. So currently we have we have 54 glowing resin. So remember we need two per vodka and that's before um, this fence here signifies the edge of the map. We need two per vodka and that's before uh, super duper procs. So Glowing resin is really the um, the determining factor for how many we make. So the more patience I have to scan around and find it is is really going to determine our, our yield. So the reason why we like vodka is uh, vodka scales with the perk uh, party boy or party girl, uh, depending if you're male or female. The positive effects of pre-war alcohol are tripled. So if we go over to vodka, it makes, it's normally uh, one strength, 25 max HP, equal three strength, 75, plus 75 percent, or percent, or plus 75 max HP. So, uh, so it turns uh, vodka into a very, very strong combat drug and uh, very good defense. So. My HP currently, I have quite high HP for, for most players, is 408, and throwing 75 on there is, is only good. If I combine that with Psycho Buff, for instance, we end up getting 552 HP, um, and there's ways to get that higher still, but, you know, that's there is a limit to, to things being too crazy. Um, and with your low health, that just makes that... Uh, uh, 
your base HP even higher. So, you know, you get a very respectable health pool to deal with, with stuff. So now vodka only lasts for three minutes. You can become addicted to it and it doesn't stack with any other alcohol buffs. Uh, so if you have whiskey uh, and then you do vodka, it doesn't scale. The only exception is uh, Nuka Shine. So Nuka Shine does scale with, um, or does stack with vodka and other pre-war alcohols. Now Nuka Shine is not affected by Party Boy or Party Girl. So it's, I mean, it's a very good uh, consumable with the unpredictable side that you end up teleporting somewhere in the world after it's done. So not reliable, so I don't tend to rely on it. Um, I don't tend to keep it hot barred. I don't tend to keep it in my inventory because, um, you know, its performance is not guaranteed. So again, I'm, I made that mark on the edge of the map because it's kind of acting as a visual guide. I'm sort of working my way closer and closer to it. Um, because this forest can get disorienting if you're not really paying attention to where you are. Oh, here we go. There's some more glowing resin. Anybody watching the video might see resins that I've walked by, but, uh, again, we're going to end up with quite a good haul to make quite a good amount of vodka. Now, if you remember the craft screen, we're going to make something called fermentable vodka. It's not vodka proper. Um, vodka proper, uh, you have to let fermentable, fermentable vodka sit for a while and it will eventually turn into vodka. Now you can put up to 10 items at a time in your fermenter and vodka ferments in about an hour. Um, I don't know the exact time on it, but it feels like about an hour to me. So, uh, every time I go back to my camp, uh, to repair or to dispose of junk, I'll just, uh, cycle what's in the fermenter and, uh, keep some keep some fresh stuff coming out if you did want to if you didn't want to fuss with the fermenter and you had enough vodka like I have 18 right now if I had enough vodka I could just let it sit in my bag and it will mature after four or five hours uh, just sitting in your bags or ferment so I think that's all the glowing resin that we're gonna bring in that 72 glowing resin. So if we do some calculations, so we're gonna find that we have to do uh, 72 divided by two times three. So we need 108 uh, razor grain to make all of the, uh, all of the vodkas that we want. Now Billings Homestead has the best location for lots of razor grain and all that we're gonna need. We're gonna, because it's a workshop, you can't just go there. We're gonna go over here to Sylvia Homestead. And then we're gonna hike over and just grab the razor grain. I'm gonna ignore this wolf horde event. Uh, it's not particularly, oh. There we go. Responders, priority alert! Looks like those damn wolves are on the hunt again. Forest Watch has spotted multiple packs, but the Alpha's whereabouts are unknown. I repeat, Alpha's location is unknown. Well, the Alpha's need dead. To find and kill that Alpha wolf ASAP! Take out the smaller packs and draw out that Alpha. Make sure you bring a lot of blood. That Alpha is a heap of trouble. Sometimes there's a pumpkin pie in here, worth collecting. Um, we're not gonna take this, but see all of these? That's all sweet razor grain. So we need to get to 108, divided by two is 54. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 
47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So, let's see how good I did. Doll. What did I say I needed? 108. I was one off. Dang. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go back and uh, make our drugs. Our drugs. Our alcohol. So the first step is we're going to need more boiled water. So let's see how much we have. Remember, we needed two per. So the glowing resin. We need uh, two boiling water. Let's remind ourselves of the recipe. And we'll go and collect more water. Two glowing resin. So that's... Um, so that's 72 divided by 2, 36. I'm going to need 3 boiling water times 3. So we need 108 boiling water, just like the just like the razor green. So we need to get more boiling water. So we need to get 50 boiling water. So we need to loot 100 dirty water. Because you need 2 dirty water for 1 boiling water. These water wells are great. You don't take rads from looting from it. And now normally if you collect once, it's going to do an animation. It takes a long time to get one water out of it. There we go. If you drink from it and then spam the collect button, you can collect as much as you like. Um, as long as you can press the R button faster. So dirty water, we're not quite there. There we go. 108. Oh, we needed an extra 50. Let's just do this. Did I loot too many? I thought... Yeah, we'll see. I'm half paying attention, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, max of that. Yeah, that'll give me 50. Okay. Oh, jeez. Almost forgot to put Super Duper on. Okay, we're still gonna have enough water. We're gonna come over here to the brewing station. And we're gonna brew fermentable vodka. And we'll brew as many as we can suffer. So that's 36. There we go. So, what did we get for our troubles? Super duper didn't proc once? No. That's gotta be a bug. Okay, well, super duper didn't proc. At all. So we still have 36 fermentable vodka. Uh, that's interesting. Since they put in the, uh, multi-craft thing, I haven't had any problems with super duper working. That's, uh... I used to have problems when there was laggy servers before when you'd uh, when it would proc one at a time. Uh, sometimes if the server was laggy, you'd go through 20 crafts and you wouldn't get a proc. Anyways, uh, there you go. That's our 36 vodka. We've just put 10 in the fermenter over here. And again, these things will ferment. This yellow condition bar is, it'll count down as it's fermenting till it's black and then it will be vodka. Uh, same thing here again. It's just gonna take longer to do from here. Anyways, uh, that's how to craft vodka. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.